Hi there, welcome back. We're gonna take a look at an advanced rappel situation. So in this case, I brought a 60 meter rope with me and oops, I didn't read the route description very well or it could be that I'm trying to bail and this isn't set up very well for bailing with a 60 meter rope. Even though you could finish everything with a 60, you actually needed a 70 meter rope in order to rappel. So I'm gonna set up a system that would allow you to rappel further than 60 meters even if you only had a 60 meter rope. So there are a few different resources that you'll need for this. You need um, some kind of cordelette or a couple different cordelettes. Um, ideally, you can untie those cordelettes to make one long strand, or maybe you'll have to cut the cordelette if you don't have enough material. Or two cordelettes is great. Also, having a whole bunch of single length runners, double length runners, triple length runners can help. You're gonna use those as an attachment on a short end of your rope and you're gonna rappel on the long end of your rope. Okay, so let's just take a look at how to set this up initially. So right here you can see I've got the middle mark of my rope up in the anchor. And I'm gonna pretend here I could rappel to the ground, but I pretend looking down I can see that I have not hit the ground with one end of my rope. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pull this until I get to a point where I can see clearly that one end is on the ground or one end is very close to being on the ground, will be on the ground with a little bit of rope stretch and I make sure that that's safe for me. It's good to make sure that that has a closed system as a, whenever you're rappelling, make sure you have uh, tied knots in the end of the rope or uh, this system is my, ideally, I set this up by doing a pre-threaded lower and I lower one person all the way to the ground they just stay tied in or they untie there and then put a barrel knot in and then I make sure that makes sure that my system is closed if one person's tied into the end and they're on the ground or they've tied the backup knot for me on the ground that's great so that's common the way I'll set this up um, you can take a look at the other advanced lowering applications video to see that pre-threaded lower and see how it would combine well with this system. Okay, so either the pre-threaded lower brought this down and it's past middle mark, or I can see I'm not gonna reach the end and I'm gonna pull one end until I can clearly see that it's on the ground. So it's going down. Okay, looks like it's on the ground right now. Perfect. So now, on the shorter end of the rope, okay, this is the end that I put down and now it's on the ground. This is the end that would be hanging off the ground, maybe 15 to 20 feet. I'm going to attach a locking carabiner there with a clove hitch is my preferred method. Okay, I'm gonna put that carabiner through and I'm gonna lock that carabiner. I might even over tighten the gate just a little bit. And then I'm gonna cinch that down on the spine. So normally I'm putting my clove hitch on the wide end of the carabiner. In this case, I'm putting this on the spine. And what that's gonna do is pull up and we'll jam. And I'm using a nice large locking carabiner. There's absolutely no way that this carabiner can pass through those chains. This is what's called a carabiner block. I have blocked the anchor with this carabiner. And now I can set up my rappel on a single strand on this side. Okay, so I'll do that now. Put my friction hitch on. Like so. Put this guy on here. Like so. Lock that in. Check my system. Make sure this carabiner block is engaged. Okay, so now if I weight that. Okay. Okay, you can see I'm just weighting this one strand. So it's a single rope rappel, but it's locked or blocked off. And once I hit the end of this rope, the short end, I'm then going to attach all those long materials. So uh, an opened up cordelette, two cordelettes, cordelettes plus a whole bunch of slings, and that's gonna work like a pull cord on that shorter end so I can retrieve my rope. And you can see clearly here, if it's being pulled on this strand, 
the rope still will pull nice and smoothly. Okay, so that's the carabiner block method. So I'm just gonna rappel down now. Take my material, and then down I go. See you down at the bottom, Zim. <laughs>